let's make some resin flower coasters. So I have my molds here off camera. I filled them up halfway with clear resin. You can get these molds from Let's Resin. I'm using alcohol ink from Let's Resin as well. Just adding seven drops into each of my molds. Um, and the color that I'm using is purple. They're all the same color. I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see how I mix up my resin, um, check out one of my previous videos. I show step-by-step -step how to mix resin. I will link it down below in the description box, or um, if you're watching this on TikTok or Facebook, check out one of my previous videos. I will have it pinned on my page if you want to see how to mix your resin. I just blended the colors together with my silicone paintbrush and now I'm going to add my white. The white I'm using is Ocean White Liquid Pigment from Let's Resin. Discount code NAPTIME will give you a discount on Let's Resin's website. And to mix my white, I use one drop of that liquid pigment in one ounce of clear resin. That's all you need, and that is enough to make four flower coasters just like this. I do a little swirl in each of my molds. And then we're going to go in and draw our flower petals. To draw my flower petals, I'm using a silicone paintbrush, and I'm just working on the surface of the resin. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of the mold, only working on the surface of the resin. I did a little swirl in the center on each of these two, and when I draw the petals, I like to think of a face of a clock. So I start at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock nine o'clock, three o'clock, and then split the difference in between on each of those petals. So I'm left with eight flower petals on each of my molds. And then after I'm done drawing my flower petals, I'm gonna take that same paintbrush and go on each of the petals and do another line, but this time from the center out to the perimeter of the mold, just like this. Go on each of those petals, start in the center and just draw a line out. And again, don't push down to the bottom of your mold, only work on the surface of your resin. And that's really it to make these. These are super simple and easy to make. If you use the same resin and the same white that I use, you will get the same results that I get. Um, the Fast Cure Epoxy from Let's Resin is what I'm using. It works fantastic to make these resin flowers. They turn out so beautiful with minimal effort. This is the next day. We're going to fill up the molds the rest of the way with some glitter. This is why on the first day I only fill my molds up halfway. And if you don't want to add this glitter layer, you could do this all in one day and just fill the molds up all the way um, with clear. Um, when you make them, you know, on your first pour, you don't have to fill them up halfway and do glitter if you don't want to. But I absolutely love glitter. So, of course, I wanted to add it on the back of these. And what I did was just poured some in, let it level out, took my stir stick and just pushed it all the way to the perimeter of each of the molds to make sure everything was covered and the molds were all the way full. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these off camera, let them cure overnight. And this glitter is from my Etsy shop. Check out my Etsy shop for some beautiful glitters. This one is called Heart's Desire. I let them all cure overnight. Here we are getting ready to take them out of the mold. And here's how the first one turned out. So gorgeous. Um, you'll be able to see on all four of these, none of them are the same. They're just like, you know, real flowers in nature. Um, no two are ever going to be the same. They're more like sisters, not twins but they all turned out really, really gorgeous. And again, I just want to emphasize, you know, if you've been struggling to make these, definitely try the same products that I use. And I promise you, you will get beautiful results. That Fast Cure Epoxy from Let's Resin works great. And their Ocean White Liquid Pigment. Um, like I said, I use one drop in one ounce of clear. You don't want to add too much white. Otherwise, you will get big blobs of white all over your coasters and it doesn't turn out too pretty. But I absolutely love making these. They're so fun and easy to make and it's really exciting to see how they turned out. I really like how this one turned out too. The center kind of moved on me a little bit. And if you go back and watch the way I poured my white 
where I started that swirl was not centered. So on that one, you could see where I started that white swirl. It was just slightly off a little bit, but that's okay. I still really love how it turned out. And the alcohol ink is transparent. So you can see the glitter just really slightly through the flower petals, which is really nice. I love how it has just a subtle sparkle underneath the flower, but then lots of glitter around the perimeter of the flower. I really love the shape of this one too. Let me know which one of these is your favorite down in the comments, number one, two, three, or four. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to follow me for more videos like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon for another video.